What's up guys, Jason with North About Doors here. Just wanna do a quick video on, if y'all are looking for a budget friendly sound bar, sound system, uh, I was originally gonna go with the, the Honda head unit and the speakers down on the floor here. <clears throat> but um, I did something different with that. I got a tablet mount to make my own ride command. But anyway, they normally put speakers there and head unit there, but their sound systems are junk and they're probably running you seven, 800 bucks. So I went with this option. It's a Eco X gear sound bar. And I've got it kind of roughed up here, but self-explanatory. They got aux cord, all that stuff if you want to plug in. They've got an inlet out if you want to add more speakers. But they're just, if you're just, I'm just Bluetooth into it. So if you want to do that, they've just got the power, power out. And I've just ran that up through here for now, just kind of roughed it in. I had to make it a little bit longer. And ran it down. There's a little gap in the dash that runs into the hood. And then that runs to the bus bar that I put in, just a negative, positive side. So that runs in, that way everything's key on. Power from the bus bar is coming from my 12 volt uh, back there. And there's a plug you can get to extend that, that make that wire longer for your bus bar. So every accessory I have, the rock lights, whip lights, and now the sound bar is run off key on power but if you're looking for a budget friendly one though because some of them get up for just a sound bar like thousand dollars this one's 399 and they make a 32 inch one that's 499 but i wasn't trying to spend a grand but i was trying to get the best bang for the buck and a friend of mine has this exact same one in his pioneer and it's pretty awesome so we went on a little spontaneous night ride last night and this thing did awesome it was um i put it in the back because i know you can link these together so i could do a second one right there and link them together if it wasn't loud enough but honestly this one sound bar by itself is plenty loud there was times honestly it was too loud but most of the night we ran it um about half volume and just depending on what style of music you listen to but it did pretty good for a sound bar it's got a little bit of bass um, I wasn't expecting a thumping sound system like a uh, factory one, but it did really good. I'm not going to play it because copyright reasons and stuff, but there's plenty of videos on YouTube where people are showing these things off and they're absolutely awesome for the money for sure. So figured I'd make a quick video on it that it did great with the talon, even going full speed down a trail, but I'm going to clean these wires up and get it looking a little more factory. Guys, thanks for watching guys if you're on the fence about this uh this little sound bar i mean i just send it i did a bunch of research on this thing for the past week now and they got the kimmy moto they got i mean they got uh, boss audio or bose whatever they've got all kinds of them um and the conclusion is this thing is probably the best bang for the buck i mean i looked at some bazooka ones um uh jbl they get up toward thousand dollars but for the price and for the sound quality and what you're getting out of this this little sound bar, you cannot go wrong with this thing. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. Yeah.